Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It is Angela, <clears throat> the Traveling Crafter, and today we are going to make a journal cover out of brown paper bags. Thank you, Trader Joe's. But before we get started, a shout out to all of you returning. Thank you for giving me the thumbs up on the videos, for subscribing, and commenting most of all because I love it. And today I would like to give a shout out to some new subscribers to Carla Frizzell, Amazon Tammy, and someone that's not so new, but uh, Marnella Mimi's Keepsakes. Thank you for subscribing and for being a part of the family. So here we go. This isn't going to take a long time. It's not a hard tutorial. This is very beginner friendly, and all you need is a brown paper bag. Like this piece, which is the bottom of the bag. And that's specifically what you need for this project. So go grab a paper bag, cut it apart, put me on pause and hop on back. You'll also need some paper of your choice, some glue, some scissors, your regular suspects, as I always say. I am going to attempt to use some buttons, some magnets, and a couple other little pieces of items that I had from other projects. And do, if you can, find a paper bag that has handles because we're going to use the handles today. So this is what I created without altering at all a brown paper bag. So it naturally, if you can tell here on this one, folds up just like this. Now, first things first, get your bottom of your brown paper bag and then take a couple of seconds. <clears throat> oh, wait, let me think. Yes. Take a couple seconds to just glue down any areas. This is the, going to be the inside of the bag because it just naturally closes. So on the inside of your bag, did I do that side? Yeah. Close it all up. I should have done this before, but why do that when we need? And sometimes because this is paper bag to paper bag, and it kind of pops apart, you might have to clip it together to get it to stick while it's drying. See, like that. There we go. I'm going to do the same on this side. Grab another. Oh, I just got glue on my finger. So that, I'm just going to do that there. And then last but not least, this one here. Now, on the opposite side, similarly to what we did, if you watched Dave's video where he created a pocket, what did I do with that pocket right here? I think this one was mine. Yeah. <clears throat> we used the handle and tucked it into here. Uh, let's make sure on this one that that's, we have the ability to do that, and we do. <clears throat> and let's make sure we can do that on the other side. I'm just gonna sit them here for right now. Wait, I think I want it to go that way. Yeah. We don't need to do anything except just put the, kind of place them in the general area in which we want them. We may have to cut down the sides so they kind of match up. So that's kind of what we're going to want in the end. On this is the outside of it, okay? There you go. So we're going to let, oops, I see another. I'm going to let that sit and dry and I'm going to show you what I've got here. Now, this inside of this, what I did was just a collage. On this side, I just used three pieces of paper. I think this was a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And I just folded it, measured, covered it, done. Okay, so this inside here, I do have it measured here. Let me show you on this. Of this particular paper bag, yours may be different, but I did measure all six panels because you never know, you know, when you flip it over and such, it might be off just a little bit. Mine were not, but, you know, it's not totally perfect on cutting it because it's 
the paper bag. But this particular, these two panels are four by seven, same on the other side. And in the middle, it is three and seven eighths by four. So all of them are four inches long. I went ahead to make it much easier and printed, printed, well, I did print. These are all of my uh, digitals, but I did, uh, okay, this is going to be the outs. I'm going to use this. I printed my digitals and then cut them to size. So these two are the four by sevens. This one, this will go on the outside, of course, is three and uh, seven eighths by four. So this is the outside of our cover. And this is going to be our inside of the cover. So we should have four inches, three and seven eighths, yep, and four inches. Now, because I'm making this kind of old looking and a little more, this isn't really, I kind of like bright colors and pastels. So this is a little out of my comfort zone, but I wanted it to be pretty natural. On this one, <clears throat> I liked the way that the brown paper bag showing through looked, so I left it on the on the cover part. But here, I did use some washi, against my better judgment, because I'm not a big fan of this kind of washi. Uh, but I did double, you know, I glued it all down to make it a little more durable, because I didn't really like how it looked with the brown paper bag on the inside. But you can choose to do whatever you wish. Now... My thought is, let's just put this aside for a second, that on the back, turn it so you can see the letters, four by seven, three and seven eighths, four by seven. So what my thought was is, let's not put this one here because I just want to show you. This is where I'm going to need your help and me remembering. <laughs> I'm just going to pop these on here, sort of-ish. And I may have to adjust this, but what my thought is, I'm just going to do this so you guys can see my vision. I know it's not perfect. Okay, this is going to be the outside, right? This is going to be the spine. And that spine is three and seven eighths inch wide, so it's a big one. But here was my thought. Because I have the handles, I thought, what if I create, and I can't decide if I want to do it on the inside. I'm just going to put it like that. A so it looks more like a purse, a little, I don't know if it'll work or not. So my thought was, do I tuck it in between here or do I just, I'm kind of thinking it might look cute if I just put it like that. I have this piece of vintage very fragile ribbon I thought we would put on it and kind of just do it like that glue it on maybe put a piece of black ribbon across it later because I don't have any out and I'm not sure where it's at um just to kind of double secure it but then put a piece I put a magnet underneath like in between here and then put a button on it so it looks like kind of like a purse. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know if it'll work. It was just an idea. I thought, well, why not? But before we do that, let's go ahead and get the inside covered. So that should be pretty dry at the moment. And again, I need to lay these out. This is just called, this is on, in the Etsy shop, it's just called Just Papers. I use these to back my digitals. So I print out my digitals like the one I just showed you and then I flip them over and then I print out the just digital papers and now I have it backed. And these are on regular paper, not on cardstock. So I think the last one I did was on cardstock. We'll see how it ends up working out. But I do know that if I'm going to do that <clears throat> closure, I do not want it on the side that just has regular paper because I don't think it's durable enough. So thus, I'm putting it on the outside. Now, again, I'm probably going to have to adjust this in just a little bit. Let's make, the most important part is that it's going to turn. Like cutting it off maybe at the top. I don't know yet. 
because like I said, it is a brown paper bag. So you never, you never know what you're gonna get. Okay, let's do the middle. I'm just gonna kind of hold that down for a second. These are super, super fast to make. But like I said, use your, oh, really? No, dog's barking. Use your judgment and use, make sure you measure for the size of paper bag that you have. Okay, so this is the three and seven eighths piece. And I can already see I'm probably going to have to trim that up a smidge. Okay, last one. See like this? I'm not worrying about it. <laughs> it's just the way it was when I cut it off the off the bottom. And I usually, when I cut my paper bags apart, I, like, let's just say this is your paper bag and this is the bottom down here. I just cut down one edge and then I cut down around all four sides and then I cut the rest of it off. Easiest way I've found to do it and quickest. Somebody's ringing my doorbell and I'm not answering. Sorry, I'm busy. Unless, of course, it's Ed McMahon and I've won $10 million. Do they still do that? I don't know. <laughs> Is Ed McMahon even still around? I don't know that either. Okay. Now I can just trim that off. Okay, let's see. See how that's just a little bit <clears throat> above the line? Do I want to cut that off now? Well, why not? I could save a lot of money by just doing, or a lot of money, <laughs> a lot of time by just doing it all at once. But at least this way, I will be able to see on the other side what's sticking out. Okay. There we have it. All right, now, this is where we're going to have, it's going to take some concentration for me. So, like, I could just go like this when I'm ready to, you know, if I decide to decorate it, put pockets on it, whatever. Okay, now let's flip it over. This is where we're going to need to think a little bit. Okay. So, we know we need to put our handles in there. And it looks as though... That's about right, I think. So I'm just going to pop some glue, quite a bit of glue, inside of there. I know that's moving around. And do the same over here. I'm holding that. Multitasking. Look at that. So yeah, I think I, I have, um, <laughs> I don't know, five or maybe more videos that I've done. And yes, I have the same outfit on because it's the same day. So it's fine. Everything's fine. Let's just pop a clip on there. If you wondered where I get these clips, you can go to my... Amazon, my traveling craft favorites, and it's in the description, the link to Amazon, and you will find them there. I use them all the time. Probably they're made for sewing, but I use them for everything. I'm just going to adjust, adjust. I'm going to make sure this is glued down. I mean, again, I'm probably being over careful. Um, the Hilton's calling me. Maybe it's Paris. They just want me to come and go on a vacation or something and sit and listen to them. <laughs> I know how it is. Okay, I'm just wiping all that off. Okay, this is our outside. We got these in. 
We're going to let these dry just a smidgy. Now, what we need to think about is, I'm thinking that after we get these on, I do want the, because it's our, I mean, this is, what this is, is the end of a, it's not perfectly straight, of a fa uh, fabric sample book. This is one sheet out of it. I thought, well, it's already got that on it, so why not? So what we're going to do, we're going to think about this here. So I'm thinking we'll just go about right there, okay? Can I get this to stay while I'm thinking through this process? I mean, if I was really good, I would have thought about it before, but I didn't. Okay, so now it's going to come over like this. So I need it to have a magnet here. But I don't really want it to show. I wonder if I put a magnet here underneath there. Oh my gosh, that dog. Okay, let me just try this. I'm just going to stick the magnet here. The question then is, let's put, that's going to be this paper. So I'm just going to stick the magnet underneath here. I just want to see if this is going to stick. And it does. Okay. Perfect. So, now we need to decide where we want our magnet. Because we need to put one magnet here before we start. Now, let's just say... I can always cut this off right here. So let's just say we want it to be, I'm gonna actually make it down farther, probably right there. Okay, let me undo this. This is the only tricky part that requires some thinking. Okay, so what I'm going to do is leave this just like this. And I'm gonna take my pencil and I know it's pretty much at that line. Okay, I've got this in here. I do not, what happened to my magnet? Oh, it's on here. So, I gotta make sure it's going the right way. Well, this one won't, it won't matter. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on now, stop. Okay, so all I'm gonna do Let's put a dab of glue. I'm going to put that there. Um, normally what I do every time I put a magnet in is I take a little piece of my, my med tape, which I didn't try this before. And then that just keeps it in place. And then I'm just going to glue this. into place. Now we are good to go there. Okay, now I'm pretending this is like this. I only want it to be about that far on the side. I'm just going to mark that right while I'm thinking about it. And then this, how far do we want this down? I'm doing it the wrong way. That's okay, though. Dang it. <laughs> Do-overs. I have it the wrong way. Okay, I know it goes there. Goodness. Now I need to decide where I want it to go here. Well, maybe we should just keep it simple and put it... Okay, so see, that's where that is. So I'm going to take this first. This is where it gets tricky. 
and I know I want it to be about there. I'm gonna hold it down for a second. And then I'm gonna take my finger <laughs> carefully, hold it there, get a piece of my med tape. Pray that it's still gonna hook together when I do that. And then we will be ready to glue our cover pieces on. Let's just make sure. And it does. Okay, and then we're gonna put something on the end. We're gonna put a button or something here, but we're gonna wait until we get everything on there. Okay, now. Let's turn it over. And I need to somehow remember I'm just going to take a post-it note and put it right here so I know that this is the end in which my, uh, what do you call it? Main is that. Okay. So, and yes, this is another one of my, this is from a 1926 seed catalog and I just did a collage. So if you're interested, that is on my Etsy shop. The link is in the description. Okay, we got those two, and we're going to just do this one in the middle. I'll start with the middle one this time. Why not? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. When are you guys seeing this? You're seeing this on Tuesday the 9th. I'm only, this is the 2nd of May. So I'm just trying, I said this in one of my last videos, I'm trying my hardest to get a little bit ahead of the game so that I can make myself a schedule so that like each day I know exactly, because I score. I mean, I still get stuff done, but I just, I need it to be more succinct, if you will. So like I'm on, you know, this day I do videos and on this day I do administrative things and then this day I do work for the dental office and you know and then that way I can stay focused and know okay I need to do this and give myself some grace because I will tell you that sometimes you know even though you've got things scheduled you're like eh, I'm not really in the mood to do that today that's okay but at least if you have a general schedule, it helps. So I used to teach time management. <clears throat> and although I squirrel, I do have <laughs> really good time management. But, uh, you know, there are things that I used to teach that I should be practicing. Practice what you preach, right? As my mother would say. Let's see, that's a little bit off, but... I can't help it. It's the bag. There we go. See right there? It's all right. It's a junk journal. We're using junk. And I'm trying to do this so that if I have to cut, it's only on one side. Now, that might change, but... We shall see. And the other thing is, I mean, yes, this is my job. Creating content is part of my job, but it is also my creative outlet. So it really doesn't feel like a job. So sometimes you have to say, okay, I'm kind of in a funk. I don't really want to be doing my admin stuff. Um, You know, what? And flex and then, you know, do something that helps your mental health, that helps your creative creative juices, that helps you maybe refocus on what you're doing. And that's okay. Okay, so now see, we got that a little, I did it all at the top. Okay, that's it, you guys. I mean, you if you wanted, you could stop here. We're just doing a little extra because I feel like being extra today. 
And we're going to try this with the... Okay, the magnet is here. So that means that... Well, first of all... Let's put this... Let's get this all on here. This is the very fragile... <laughs> vintage ribbon. And you may be able to see this through this lace, but because it's so fragile, I really want to make sure I get it on there. I'm just going to have to deal. Oh, it's longer than I anticipated. Well, geez. I'm going to pull it up just a little bit above that. Well... I gotta be very careful with this because it will rip right off of that vel or, uh, velvet. What happened to my? I, do I keep throwing that? I had a napkin. <laughs> Apparently, I keep throwing it away. I do have. Okay, I think I probably should stop after this video because that's a lot of videos in a day. Uh, I do have another cover to do, but. I think it's going to take a lot of concentrate. It's a, I whipped it up just spur of the moment and it worked brilliantly. I was like, well, that's easy enough. But now that I have to like do a tutorial on it, that's not even straight. Well, friends, it's going to have to just be crooked. I, I'll cause myself a whole lot more headache than it's worth if I... Okay, this is the end with the... Ooh, that doesn't, I don't know. Oh yeah, I guess. Now remember, I'm making this so that it's, um, I'm going to have a lot of stuff in there, so I don't want it to be too... There we go. We'll make it about there. Now I need to mark that. And I need to mark about right there. Okay. I'm going to put my finger here. Pull this up. My concern is only that Will it stay stuck on this end? And if, what do I need to? There we go. Oh, did I get it too far? No, I'm good. What, if anything, do I need to add to it to keep it on there without it making it look silly? And I may have to just wait until it's all dry and then decide that. I mean, I guess I could put... That looks silly. Let's see, that looks silly. Maybe a piece of ribbon or something. I don't know. Now we need to decide which button, button, who's got the button, do we want on there? And I'm only going to glue this on because... Here, let's move it this way. Do we want the black button? Or do we want this button? I was going to show you something. Oops. Okay, so it is holding it. I think we want the black button. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I'm just going to glue it right there. Now, if I were really good, I would have sewn it in advance. And probably the glue is going to come up through this, but that's okay. I'm just going to hold it there. Okay, this little guy, so you can see it come through the top, I can go back in my bucket. My button bucket. 
super, super easy uh, journal cover. Wow. And really cheap. I mean, my digitals don't cost very much, and the paper bag is free, so how can you resist? Okay, now we're just going to have to basically leave it and let it kind of simmer, let it dry. I may take a paintbrush <clears throat> and my black here, why not? watercolor pencil. I'm just going to try it on a section and see if I like it. There may be, oops, there may be some glue still creeping. Let me just grab my <clears throat> water pen. I'm going to show you how I do this. I just, usually I do that. Squeeze it so a little water comes out. Yeah. Now I'll have to probably do a couple, a couple passes on it and let that dry. It's not really ready yet, but I'll put these out so I don't forget. And I'm just going to set this aside and let everything dry. But there we have it. <clears throat> and remember, you're going to have, you can probably do, it's three and seven eighths. So you can probably do easily three signatures in there if you want or one great big one. But I would probably do three. You could do some flip flops in the middle of it. So there you go. Very quick, very easy, 30 minutes or less. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, friends, remember to take time to just be. Take one quick second. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you already haven't. And leave comments. I want to hear what you think. What you're up to. Have you tried this? So until next time, remember to take time to just be. Didn't I already say that? I think so. And we will see you soon. Cheers.